Yeah. Hello, brother. I'm fine. Brother Petty, oh, you, you don't have to hold it. I, 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 I found I could just do it like this because I can't. I'm going to read it. I got this a new paper. Well, relatively new. It's a, it's a, I guess it's a region wide paper. I'm a communication student, but I always like to read the paper from the back end of sports first. But, you know, you got these South African sports, and oh, they got basketball in there. Problem. <clears throat> Ooh, what's this? Ooh, this is this is not good. Dreaming of a new Africa, social cohesion, is the key to building a winning nation. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, they got, look at that. They got this uh, an earlier picture from uh, earlier in the year. Nigerian. They were jumping on the Nigerians. And Victoria has to be a focus. It's like a, uh, African peer pressure. Peer pressure, huh? Normal thing, got somebody, some collapse or something like that. You, know, you go through these pictures and you get, you get stuff. You know, I have fees must fall. Education. Okay. We just went through that. Oh, Zandu PF Savior. Oh, Zimbabwe. Some, some guy from the past is back. You know, I'm going urgency made in Africa. All that stuff. Outlook. A hundred best love brands. Hey, wait a second, I gotta uh, talk about the people. Well, Nigeria, film industry, uh, you know, they, uh, I got that for the market there. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, Bluetooth. Oh, they got some hot happenings this weekend. They got some, oh, t two American stories. Oh, Jonathan Butler, too. Well, wow, he's South African, but we consider him American. I know. Oh, Oliver's there. Oh, uh, well, some, some, some other stuff there. That's nice, I right, thought. Uh, Oh, look at this. Oh, that's nice there, too. Oh, that's a good paper, I think. Oh, all the princes, men and women, the Nigerian leader, the guy, again, left blast from the past. These guys never leave. They always come back, you know, serve them, things like that. Oh, oh look at this. I got the, oh, this is the Messiah Cricket Warriors. Right there. Oh, I pulled up the, the last white rhino, northern white rhino. Hey, you know, they did now. Find no tusk and all that stuff. They survived on 15 minutes a day in Zimbabwe. Hmm, that's interesting. Freaking success. That's not a bad paper. A lot of stuff here. A lot of fair at this and that. Tanzania, two horse contest, two more elections. That's not a good paper. Uh, Fist Honest Music Icon. Celebration. Pretty good about Fela Alaklapu Kuti, probably celebration. His son, uh, Shin Kuti, and friends on the stage. Ooh, a lot of white friends. Anyway, hey, the minister is in power. His daughter was killed. Mystery of death in Cape Town. Oh, also, hey, your president, Jacob Zuma, and, um, hey, what is this? Oh, Mozambican guys come to town. I want to go to Mozambique again. No, no, no. I'm not feeling bad, guys. I'm a fool. Look at this. African universities burn. Yes. Mm. Uh oh. Didn't notice. Could be bad. Power. Uh, a nice photo. Mm. It's about African universities. I thought it was just happening in Cape Town. See, I don't actually I don't have TV, I don't listen to radio, I just been doing studying lately, so I haven't been keeping up on, you know, stuff, but mm, I get my news on newspapers on the weekend magazines. Oh, they go to all the countries, look at this. Uh, let's see. They got uh, some Barclay, subsidies, fees, subsidies, highly subsidized, Nigeria, protesting. Zambia, the man just can't be met in higher course. Nail the poor in Uganda. Hey, wait a second. Oh, Uganda, look at that. They got a scam in Uganda. It's like, you know, people go to the university, they get subsidized, but it's like the rich people go. How do they manage that? It's the poor really left behind. Uh, Namibia, a uh, rising course there. Fee hikes in Malawi, ooh, Malawi. I like Malawi, I want to get to Malawi, wait a second. Something's happening in Malawi. Fee hikes. Mm. Ooh, Kenya's really bad. The people die in Kenya. Mm. Fee hikes. Like that. Hey, look, Ghana. Ghana's, right? Ghana's pretty smart. Wait a second. Hey, now you see. 
God is, God is pretty smart. They actually, look, they actually talked to the SRC, you know, the Student Representative Council, and they sort of don't show it down. Then the students don't like it. They go back to other students. They could give or take. These other people, they just do whatever is done. Oh, this should be, maybe I should have, you know, I was just going to do papers today and just, you know, entertain you here. But, you know, maybe we should talk about something here. Because, you know, last year we talked about this, uh, I had a, I should call this one, the, the aftermath of the aftermath, the prelude to, you know, what's going to happen next. Something like that. I usually have short titles, so I'll figure out a shorter one. But it seems to me if all these students are uprising, you know, they want their education, and the fees keep on going up, people are starting to think, wait a second, fees are going up, da 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 da. This could be a worldwide movement to start looking into stuff. Because if you got, you know, that, like the white right on getting cut off and then tusk being sold someplace. And of course, everybody coming to take stuff out of Africa, you know, metals and all that stuff out of Africa someplace. So somebody getting some kickback, but students ain't getting no education. All that stuff that Africa has, hey, if the students start thinking, start doing some scars, some real research, and say, okay, you got all that stuff there, you got all that stuff there, then hey, you got to pay this piper, not that piper, because you know, a lot of stuff like that, a lot of stuff you know, is imposed by the people of Northern Hemisphere. I said I'd say Northern Hemisphere because I don't blame any particular you know, faction, even though there is a faction we can blame, but we won't say anything about that. So there you go. Interestingly enough, student uprising, I'm getting like deja vu all over again. Because, you know, when I first went to university in the, okay, late 60s, we took over our school. But we wasn't doing for school fees. We was trying to get, you know, black studies and stuff like that. But that, that whole student protest thing is taking over school started in, in Paris University. Went to uh, Mexico, came up to the United States. That's what we got at home. And it caused a whole upheaval and stuff. So you would think, kind of interesting. In fact, where I'm staying, the kids, they couldn't go to school yesterday because other people, kids were toy toying on the bridge between, between uh, Alice and uh, Fort Beaufort about school fees. They want their fees down. So think about it. High school, or t t they want their fees down. They want their fees down. These other people want to raise fees. Do you know the Northern Hemisphere wants to raise fees? They put all things in place and they steal our stuff and whew, <laughs> It's interesting times. Deja vu all over again. Revolution's in the air. Well, I don't like revolution. Evolution's in the air. Anyway, let me stop jamming. This is, I just was cooking at the new paper, but I'm going to give an advertisement plug here. African independent. Hey, might get some independence. Interesting. Anyway, this is one of those dispatches from the Arch Director Emeritus that that would be me, T, from the Patterson State and Transit Department, letting you know. African-wise, what I only suspect.